Well folks, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It feels like deja vu, doesn't it? This video is going to be all about aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. What are my top 10? 10? Because there's been so many incredible um, releases recently. Also, there's been some pretty awful ones as well. Uh, maybe I can do my top 10 worst uh, sort of add-ons. Maybe that might be interesting as well. Let me know in the comments if you want that video. But uh, yeah. Let's get cracking, and I'm not going to uh, sort of categorize them as uh, general aviation or military. I'm just going to go for it. First one, number 10, has to be the DC Designs F-14 Tomcat. It's surrounded in controversy, particularly from the DCS crowd that uh, apparently are trained expert fighter pilots. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the reason why it's uh, there is because it's, it's doing things which are pushing the boundaries of this sim and making it better. Uh, and DC Designs are absolutely committed to all of their aircraft. In fact, there's going to be some major updates this year. Um, but what I love about the F-14 Tomcat really mainly is the way it flies, but also the compression stall simulation. It's, some, it's a first, really. Right, what's number nine then on my best general aviation aircraft of all time? Well, for now anyway. <laughs> Well, it has to be this. I'm flying it right now, guys. It's the Carinado Skymaster 2. It really is a superb release by Carinado. It's put them back on the map, actually. Um, I've got a huge respect for how long it's taken them to get this into this sim. And uh, I just think the sounds, again, the way it flies, the way you can spin this aircraft and do stalls is exactly like the real thing. It also has the right numbers in terms of sort of the, you know, the flight characteristics. It's bang on the numbers, unlike me today uh, doing this terrible touch and go. But never mind, ignore that. Yeah, love it, recommend it. Got a review on the channel. In fact, all the uh, aircraft or most of them that I'm mentioning today, if I've got a review on the channel, I will link it in the description below. Right, enjoy this takeoff and we'll go to number eight next. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. And there is Southampton by Orbex. We're now going to head to Shoreham and also I'm flying in the Varia area in case you're wondering. Uh, the best headset known to man for flight simulation at the moment anyway. <laughs> And it will be for a while if I'm honest. Right, number eight. And by the way, this isn't in really any particular order. However, I'm going to reveal my top number one, my most favourite general aviation aircraft. That will be at number one. So the next one is the high performance H145 helicopter. That has transformed the way I think about VR and flying VFR. I love that thing to bits. And I think what they're doing, again, funny enough, they're pushing the boundaries of what's possible in Microsoft Flight Simulator. As Sobo said, no helicopters until 2022 at some point. Height Performance said, no thanks, we're gonna make our own and our own flight model and everything else. Absolutely incredible. And I know flying, uh, is it Fly Inside? They've done their own helicopter to as well but I personally love the H145 more because it's a real luxurious proper general aviation VIP helicopter that you can take on a tour it's got an amazing iPad and oh my god just it's just such a great aircraft and it's all you know it's still in beta as well it's early access at the moment so highly recommend that got a review on the channel check them out right number seven has to be the Just Flight Warrior that aircraft, I've flown that in real life many, many times. Well, I've got to say, she looks absolutely stunning in the air. Here comes the store warning. Buff it. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. Very nicely modeled there. Right, number six has to be the CRJ by Aerosoft. Uh, the CRJ. Again, when it was first released, actually I'm starting to realise there's a theme going here, <laughs> but when it was first released was the first truly complex uh, airliner for the sim. And uh, I really, to this day, if I need to do a long leg across oceans and goodness knows what, I always use a CRJ. In fact, I can kind of need to fly it soon actually as part of my Europe tour. I just can't say a bad thing about that aircraft, really, to be honest. I think uh, what they've done with it is absolutely incredible it sounds great looks great but more importantly the systems it has working vnav which is really super important for a sort of a, a commercial jet 
it has all sorts of options the EFB I've never seen so many options there you know it has uh, sort of custom sounds that are go way beyond what I've seen before you hear cabin crew and people in the back and everything uh, it's just an astonishing astonishing aircraft and uh, it will give you hundreds of hours of enjoyment and it is definitely worth the money because it is a bit pricey but there's a reason for that it's um, pretty much uh, I would say it's a study level aircraft without a doubt number five has to be <laughs> the just flight hawk um, that is by far the best fighter aircraft trainer that I have seen to date uh, what just flight have done with the T mark 1a Hawk I mean it you know it's and again pushing boundaries in fact I had a wonderful interview with the lead developer of that aircraft Martin such a talented guy and I'll link that live stream in the description below and we got a chance to fly with him we had a group flight with the Hawk with him the very person you know who was the creator of that incredible add-on flying with us and just hearing him talk about it like it's one of his like kids or something you know you can see you can hear the passion in his voice they go that extra mile to produce the most incredible high fidelity model out there and uh, yeah massive respect for that uh, aircraft in fact when it was released i didn't fly anything else for about a month at least it was just such an incredible achievement of all the jets out there the hawk is up there as the best without a doubt Okay, number four, well, it's the Flying Iron Spitfire, folks. In fact, it was the very first aircraft I showed off in Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR, and that video has now got well over 100,000 views now. In fact, Flying Irons have quietly in the background been updating that bird. It's got new flight dynamics, it's got a tablet now, the engine sounds have been improved, you even got flames without the exhaust. Other you know, developers like Aeroplane Heaven have tried their hand at, uh, you know, creating a Spitfire and failed, in my, you know, if I'm honest. I think Flying Irons, they really nailed it. Uh, it just feels right. It's challenging to fly. They didn't shy away from um, sort of really showing the P factor and the difficulties of a tail dragger aircraft. It's, it's really difficult to fly, folks. And I like that because, of, you know, the real Spitfire is difficult. You couldn't just jump in it and fly it. You'd crash it straight away. And that's exactly what you'll do with the Fly 9 Spitfire. And that's <laughs> one way of being sure about the flight model. It really is that good. So, yeah, huge uh, congratulations to Fly 9s for what has been a legendary bird um, brought to the skies properly in this sim right then number three wow guys i think it has to be and i'm really thinking here because it's getting more difficult now <laughs> but i'm going to mention that the sim work studio kodiak has really shown what we need to see moving forward in microsoft flight simulator it really is the only aircraft out there that surpassed the texture detail of the default birds you know Asobo has given developers new tools a new opportunity to raise what we want to see in this sim in terms of general aviation aircraft and beyond and i think really simworks studios are one of very few developers that have managed to achieve that this thing has working fuses it has a cup holder it has a working simulated air vent system full of you know all sorts of quirks including air conditioner but you know i don't care about all that really i mean that is amazing but and it shows attention to detail but what the important thing is is the flight modeling is absolutely amazing when you fly that for the first time you you might crash it because it's quite challenging to fly it's unforgiving just like the real aircraft a fantastic achievement from them and I have done nothing but fly that on the channel for a very long time now as you can see from some of my shots there it is a beautiful bird and I you know I couldn't recommend that enough okay number two is the DC design Stearman that was quite a uh, a bit of a wild card for me actually it's insanely cheap and insanely fun and uh, again it flies really really well they've got the sounds perfect that sort of big uh, sort of thumping radial engine that they're known for that single cylinder sort of sound it's incredible sound folks if you ever heard a Stearman in real life it just it you know shakes the ground and they've got that very they've done that really really well and as I say it's great fun in VR that open cockpit is just something 
uh, to behold it really is so uh, again congratulations to DC Designs that was quite an unusual one for me because uh, I, you know, I love the Stearman actually, and for it to uh, come to Microsoft Flight Simulator with that detail, but also for such a cheap price, was something I never expected. Uh, so yeah, really, really fantastic. And also, I think the textures are very, very good in it, but just the overall feel of it, and just be able to side slip it, uh, do some uh, cheeky little aerobatic maneuvers with it, it just is a fantastic bird. Right folks, I think it's time to reveal my actual number one best aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator ever. And it is, without doubt, drum roll please, the Just Flight Turbo Arrow. That thing is absolutely, well, it's a masterpiece. And let me tell you why. It is breaking new ground, again, because of the turbo prop sort of engine simulation which is separate from the sim also the fact that what they've done with the uh, sort of engine failure modeling the EFB uh, the fact you have to make sure that you fly it correctly otherwise you will most definitely pay the price um, you feel like you properly own that aircraft and what I mean by that is you know you have uh, consequences to your actions and that's what I'm looking for with a general aviation aircraft or any aircraft is when I fly it and if I abuse it I pay the price um, when it was released nothing else came close to it there's a few aircraft now I could even mention the Milvis Pilatus PC6 that's another really good one by the way uh, that has true engine uh, systems and failure modeling I want to see more of that this year. I want to see in 2022 the bar raised even higher. So that's it from me, folks. That is my top 10 favorite payware aircraft for this sim right now. Um, I think one more I want to mention, and that is my most favorite general aviation aircraft of all time. And that actually is an X Plane 11. It's the Hot Start TBM 900. That thing is a pure study level aircraft. And when I say that, I mean every component is modeled down to the engine physics, uh, all of the components of the systems modeling. Everything can fail. You have to keep on top of it with your maintenance log. Um, really, that is what I want to see in 2022 in this sim because I've got hundreds of hours in that plane and it is something that every time I fly it in VR I approach it like I would a real aircraft and you only really truly do that if you know that modeling is there um, and yes it's 60 pounds but I mean I've probably put like five or six hundred hours in that thing and it's what started the channel off actually uh, all the way back a few years ago I literally adore that thing so if we can get anywhere near that in 2022, I'll be very happy indeed. Right then, let's go for a landing here at Shoreham. Prop fully forward, mixture fully rich. Oh, I've been flying now for about three hours, guys, in the Vario Aero, and I feel absolutely as fine as when I started. I feel fresh as anything. But I do fancy a coffee now, so we'll go to the cafe here at Shoreham. Get myself a, uh, a bacon butty and a cup of tea, I think. And please do let me know in the comments, folks, what is your favorite aircraft or top 10? I'll be very interested to know in the comments. And we are down. Thank you so much for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.